When I look back at stuff I did in art school, I see a relationship to what I'm doing now. And it always surprises me when you have the distance in time of things you did earlier and you're doing now. A lot of people stick with one thing and do their entire career uh, making, you know, the same types of images over and over. And uh, again, it's probably I'm an anomaly that I, I don't do that. Hi, my name is Ron Mike, and uh, I hope you have a chance to come and see my show in at the Washington Printmakers Gallery that's going uh, for the month of October. The name of the show is called, it's called Anomaly. You know, I, I, I forgot what artist said that, but he said that if I can't find it at Home Depot, then why use it, you know? And, uh, you know, I'm kind of of that school where I like to, you know, uh, explore materials that maybe haven't been used or ones that, you know, you, you can find something in, you know? I mean, with this group of, of work, I ran into this material. It's like a nylon uh, mesh uh, that's hexagonal. And what I'm doing is inking that up putting paper on it and running it through the press, and then using many, many layers. The show presents attention to things that normally you, you, you want to ignore. And I think they're more contemplative than a lot of stuff I've done before. You know, I, I like the, the human factor of, of all making, uh, you know, a scratch or, 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 you know, any of those things. Being an anomaly is, is those things that sneak in. Um, to the prints and it can be the registration is a little off or you know the color relationships uh, the inking all, all those uh, sort of affect it and it's that that causes it to be a human thing you know in one it was 35 different circles with five colors and ran it through the press I think it was four or five times so you end up having 25 or 30 different colors um, on top of each other or hitting each other, you know, that make other shapes, that do things like that. And just the interaction of some of the color was, was pretty fascinating. And what you got with the, the overlap. And, you know, the, the other, the one work that's different, that's smaller, it's their lithographs and everything. I, I tried to make them so they would actually breathe and there are reduction motors in there that make the, make the prints go in and out uh, 15 times a minute, which is about the average breath of a person. So basically trying to revive this image into something that's, that's actually a part of your life or anything. Um, the other thing I look at these shapes, which are more negative than positive, but the shapes, it's, it's almost like looking at a negative pe pixel. A uh, digital pixel, and um, I thought that was a little intriguing, also, um, because it's it's not really anything you could get in a digital format. I guess I'm kind of hoping there's some kind of neurological connection if they see this, um, because that's all they've seen, and not that it, it, like I say, it is it is kind of mimicking, or in a way making fun of them. I think, but uh, of of these pixels that people are looking at all the time.